<laughs> you couldn't be bothered to put a suit on today, which is rather a bit of shame, really, honestly. Casual. Um, now, I'm going to use uh, the four kings from the deck. The, the four kings, in a very strange fashion, will represent cannibals. Oh, yeah. In the deepest parts of, uh, let's say, Africa, somewhere mm. like that. And um, so they will represent, I want the camera to see that. So they represent the four, four cannibals, okay? Now, I'll leave them here for just a moment. Now, I'm going to ask you, from the deck, you can either choose three cards or we can just name any three cards. So, just name any three spot cards. Okay, me. eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Um, six of hearts. Six of hearts. And the five of spades. Five of spades. Yeah. And it, it really doesn't matter which cards you choose, but uh, there we are. Now, uh, the these cards represent the missionaries. Oh, yeah, missionaries. And the missionaries go into the jungle. And these are the cannibals. They're, they're the cannibals. No, no, yeah. The missionaries go into the jungle and they get caught by the cannibals. Which is a rather painful experience in itself. Imagine. Have you ever been caught by the cannibals? Not lately. Not lately. lately. <laughs> when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> it does itch. Yes. It? So don't forget, um, I've got the um, the four cannibals four here, cannibals. Yeah. and then the four missionaries here. Now, watch what happens. The first missionary gets caught by the cannibals mm -hmm. and gets eaten, oh. and she has gone. Very nice. Ball. Okay. Nice. Let's do it again. The second missionary gets caught by the cannibals, takes a second. She too gets eaten, mm. gone, and the same with the third one. The third missionary gets eaten by the cannibals. Nice. That's magical, isn't it? Yeah, very, very but does um, or do they get eaten, or do they just make their escape because they're not there? But actually, the, the pack of cards represents a hotel, and uh, that's the first floor, that's the second floor, and that's the third floor, which is exactly where the missionaries went back to. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. I've always liked yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, it's psychological, really, so mm. it doesn't always work, but we'll try it. In a moment, in a moment, I'd like you to name a card. The first right. card that comes to your mind. Um, but before you name it, I'm, I'm going to give your card right. a name. Is that the one you were thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give your card a name. Uh, I'm going to name your card Gary. G A R Y. Gary. I name your card Gary. So, would you just name any card? Uh, three of hearts. Three of hearts. Now, remember, I said I'd name your card Gary. Where's the back? Three of hearts. Yeah. Just, um, I'm just going to remove your card. Now, remember, I said I name your card Gary. Yes. You're probably wondering what this is all about. Well, the, the fact is, all the cards, there's your card. Yeah. All the cards have got a name on the back Ray, Ashley, Donna, Helen. Susan, Simon, John, Martin, Carly, Cy, Lloyd, James, Sally, my dear, uh, Joan, Jay, Reg, Angela, friend of my wife, uh, Carol, all different names. Do you remember I said, um, I named your card Gary? Yeah. Before you named it, Yeah. Which is very strange. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. wild? Isn't that wild, folks? Oh, as Kreskin would say, isn't that wild, folks? Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've got the, the we just pr produced the aces from a previous routine. Mm -hmm. And uh, traditionally with all these uh, routines, you place three cards on each ace. So three cards go on each one. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, um, I will try, try and do this slower than I kind of normally work, but uh, mm. the ace of spades, what's the ace of spades here? You see, the magic has now happened because the Ace of Spades has vanished. No, 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 no. It's no longer no, there. It really has vanished. vanished. Oh, I'll, no. I'll do it again. Look, with the Ace of Hearts. Watch the Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts should, I'm hoping, to go through the fist, that one, yeah. and that's vanished. And that really has gone. No Ace of Hearts whatsoever. I can do it again um, mm. with the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. Watch the Ace of Clubs. I'm yeah. going to try and make the Ace of Clubs vanish. So, I think... Yeah, it's gone. Has it gone? gone. Yeah, it's gone. it's gone. So it really has gone. No ace of clubs whatsoever. Uh, that leaves one more to go, which is down here, the ace of diamonds. So what's the ace of diamonds? I'm hoping we could do this again for the last time. And look, mm. the ace of diamonds has vanished. And it really has vanished. No ace of diamonds. So there's, all the aces have basically vanished. Vanished, yeah. But you see, if I'm a good magician, I should be able to try and make them reappear. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, my favourite one is the Ace of Diamonds. I'm going to work with the Ace of Diamonds here. Okay. T-H-E-V-A-C-E-O-F 
Diamonds, D I A M O N D, and that should be yes, diamonds. Yeah, diamonds yeah. Oh. But so I can go further than that because I want to get the other aces. All I have to do is that, and there they are. Isn't it? Isn't that a lovely routine? Oh, really? Cool. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually live, live. <laughs> okay, live, live. Someone said to me the other day, "You magicians are always the same. You have a pack of cards. You have a card chosen. The card is put back in the pack, and you tell us what the card is. How is this done?" I said, "Well, I'll explain." Well, I take a card like the Eight of Hearts. If somebody chose Eight of Hearts and put it back in the pack in this manner, it would be very difficult to find it again. Of course, if you can put it in reverse, you it's much easier, because if you make it change colour, you can't go uh -huh. wrong. <laughs> just, um, uh, Paul, you just name a card, please. Just name one. Uh, nine of Hearts. Oh, nine of Hearts. Okay, we'll just give back a card and turn them over. And you'll now notice that all the cards, oh. well, they've changed colour. They're now all blue, except for just one card. What was the name of the card you put your finger on? Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts, the very card. Oh. You just blow on it, and it turns oh. to blue again, and we'll just let her go. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Rolling. Okay. Now, Graham. Yeah. I am. Um, well, you're going to show me that thing where you asked me to think of a number. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Yeah. These are your cards, aren't they? Yeah. And I'll tell you what, in this heat, these are struggling to be shuffled because they're in a right old state, but yeah. we'll try it anyway. Yeah. Um, I can ask you to think of a name any number mm -hmm. you want up to say 26. Uh, 15. You sure? Yeah. Now that's not, I haven't asked you to say that. No, right? no, no, no. Totally free to 15. Yeah, okay. 15. From the shuffled deck, these are your cards. I'm going to deal 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. That's the 15th card. Now, most magicians will have you look at that and remember it. Yeah. But because I'm not most magicians, yeah, and a lot of people say that, I'm going to yeah. use numerology, uh -huh. which is adding digits together. Yeah. One plus five is six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the card that's, I'd like you to remember. My card, yeah. Have a good look at it. I want to show the camera. Oh. Got it? Yeah. All right, Lloyd. Yeah. Now I've got to work out what that card is. Yeah. Now the first word of the card is the. Yeah. So I mean that's a silly gag that is, but it is the T H E the. I've got to work out the value of mm -hmm. your card. It's an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, or king, but just concentrate on the value. Yeah. You got it in your mind? Got it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten. T-E-N. T -E now, of, O-F, of. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Um, was your card uh, a red card? No, it wasn't. It must be a black then. It is. That's yes. clever, isn't it? Yeah, it was. was it club or spade? Spade. Oh, it's a spade. Yes. <laughs> S-P-A-D-E-S. -E what was your card? Um, ten of spades. Look at that. But I can go further because most magicians end there. But if you play poker, wouldn't it be nice to turn oh, those into a ball? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Wonderful. Wonderful. I'd like to show you something, if I may, with four cards. <laughs> Awful patter. <laughs> I'd like to show you something, if I may. You know, watch it anyway. <laughs> Not in case of whether you want to or not. <laughs> four, four, four cards. Like so. <laughs> now, there's a get like so. <laughs> There's a game in America, it's not hasn't caught on so much in England, called Pinochle. I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> because the Pinochle, you get points. Yes, you get points. If you have, for instance, the Jack of Hearts <coughs> and the Queen of Clubs, you get 150 points. If, however, you have a further Jack of Hearts and another Queen of Clubs, you get 300 points. But there are some people who cheat, and you're probably wondering how. Well, I'll show you. If they have not one Jack of Hearts, they don't have two Jack of Hearts. No, they have three Jack of Hearts and just one Queen of Clubs. There is another group of people who cheat in a completely different way. And they, um, they have more than one Queen of Clubs. And if, if this does happen, there's only one thing you can do. Yes, this is one. <laughs> You have to bring into play your aces. Number one, one, two, three. I'm trying to make this entertaining. Four aces. Thank you. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. It's a lovely little trick. I said the trick is uh, using the four tens, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three. Four. I mean, you could use any four of a kind, but uh, I use the four tens because right. he showed me using the four tens. Okay, now the trick is uh, one by one, the tens are going to turn face down in the packet one by one, okay. and uh, without any moves. 
Now magicians sometimes do little moves like this or they do moves like that, but one by one the tens will turn face down. So I said to Barry, have you got that trick? He said yes. He said the first ten to turn face down is right there and that's the ten of clubs. I was duly impressed, yeah. just like you. <laughs> I didn't see a move. No, 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 no. I'll do it again for you. Look, the second one is right there and that is the ten of diamonds. Are you, you impressed? Yeah, I am quietly impressed. Quietly, quietly you don't look remotely impressed. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again for you. The Not third enough. one, is that, look there, look there's the ten of hearts. Yeah, a lot of inner joy. This is inner joy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the word for genius. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. There's one more to go. Yeah. And the last one to go is the right there is the ten of spades. That's ten the big spades, one. Yes. So I said to Barry, I said it's a good trick, but I don't like blue back cards. I don't like blue. Can he you, said, well, can you do red? Well, you can do it in red. Oh, and there's one, red. two, oh. three. Four. Actually, I said to be quite frank, I don't like. No. no. What's, what's your favourite colour? Green. Green. Well, in that case, I can do it ah. in green, and there's four of them. There's one, two, two three, three, and four. Excellent, Paul. Excellent. Is that a good trick? Yeah. Right ahead. If you want to check yeah. them out. I'll, I'll check them out. Oh, no. Oh, they're not gimmick. No. Look at that, eh? Did you get all that?